Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Chicago Reacts. My name is Michael. I'm an actor here in the city of Chicago, and I'm joined by the ever-brilliant, the always talented, the one, the only. It's Zach. Also an actor here in the city of Chicago, soon to be worldwide, believe me. Um, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Brandon Herrera. He's brought so many of new faces and, and uh, people to our channel, which we appreciate. And we have been requested to watch his um, extremely cursed gum, gun images yes. videos. Um, there's a series of these. Uh, we just decided to check out essentially what I think maybe is the first one. Yeah. Um, so we're <laughs> looking forward to it. We've watched some of this other stuff, so we'll see how this goes. Hey, hit that yeah. like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything else. And uh, leave a comment in that comment section down below. Also, if you're watching this uh, within three hours of it coming out, you can check us out. We are live on Twitch right now. So right go check now. out one of our reactors streaming live. Mm -hmm. With that said, let's jump into it. I've signed a stay-at-home order for the entire state of North Carolina. No, 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 guys. Trump said we were essential. Oh, At least we still have power. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Oh yes, Brandon. We got we gotta always appreciate that. Gotta <laughs> always appreciate Brandon addressing us as as we should be addressed. <laughs> it's day four of being trapped inside my own shop thanks to the quarantine. Water ran out two days ago, so we're down to just <laughs> alcohol now. Thank God. Yesterday I was able to find cell phone reception for like 30 seconds, so I immediately went in my Discord to ask for some help, and you guys responded by flooding my inbox with as many cursed gun images as you could. Hey! Oh, yeah. <laughs> power came back on. That means we finally got enough tears from AR guys to power my hydroelectric generator. I knew that would come in handy. <laughs> That's a What's pretty going cool on, guys? Image, back to yeah. you with some cursed gun images. I hope your quarantines are going well. Still trapped in the shop, but that's okay. No, it's not. Because now the only thing I can do really to get content out to you guys is another cursed gun images, which I really don't. So then correction, this isn't his first this cursed isn't his gunning. first one. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is just, we just picked out one that looked promising. So yeah. Don't so we'll ever definitely look forward. hop back. Yes. Especially if you, so do let us know in the comments if you do like our genuine reactions to them, because we can definitely do this up. Too, because you guys have some sort of sick pleasure in sending me some of the worst gun images you can find <laughs> on the internet Why and some of you have even resorted to trying to make your own and they're heinous stop it <sighs> i gotta get ready for this one Ooh. having a taste of good old-fashioned lead slingers whiskey lead slingers i've never had lead slingers before. yeah michael actually is a whiskey connoisseur in well, a lot of ways I'm he's a connoisseur gotten... but i do like i would whiskey. Argue, i would argue uh, definitely more than i think the average person who in indulges in some alcohol every once in a while. Okay, I'll take that. <sighs> All right, now I'm ready for curse gun images. Just remember, <laughs> you wanted this. All right, let's see number <laughs> I don't one think here he wants up on the dot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is why I don't do these videos more often. So you've already started out with my complete what hatred as that? this is a bull pupped AK. But that wasn't bad enough. You now have screws, a screw build. It, this is a screw built AK. Those are clearly <laughs> bolts. The heat treat on that receiver was clearly done expertly as it is doing the wave. And for the bull pop <laughs> front end, I actually kind of, I a little bit respect your devotion to the AK, but I also still hate you because that is a, that is an AK receiver that they've used as their chassis for the front end, the lower handguard area for their bull pup. I really nice. want to say this is photoshopped. I'm, I'm going to call this one. This is almost becoming like a game for me. It's like, is, did somebody actually build this coat hanger abortion in their garage? Or did, <laughs> is this just a Photoshop? I'm going to call Photoshop on this one. And I really hope I'm right. I really hope nobody did this for real. Please, nobody prove me wrong, because I am going to sleep very, very soundly tonight thinking that this is fake. I knew we were going to get to this one, because ever since Cursed Gun Images won. His disappointment He's is so literally <laughs> tangible. <laughs> it's He's so mad. <laughs> one. Uh, you guys have been DMing me this. This is a mare's leg what? lever action AK. What? And it literally looked like the like handle of like a machete or something at the bottom. Like yeah. that somebody had hand cut. That was it's hideous. Well, I, that's I the mag. Yeah. 
but yeah. Yeah. But how would you use that functionally? That wouldn't work. No way that works. That is, seems insane. I'm just. I don't yeah. know how he'd use that. Look Weird. at, look at that trigger too. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> the air quotes. Yeah, that thing yeah. is nasty. That thing, that is, thing is, gross. is. Oh my god. Because this clearly does not work. Uh, that is like <laughs> just a crazy not. trigger guard looking thing going on there. I'd be surprised if this gun, this gun works. Yeah, you can even see the weld there in the back, that lever action. People keep asking for a lever action AK. Just buy a fucking AK. And if you really want it to just be a single shot, don't drill the gas port. It's that easy. Nope, you want to look like some sort of retarded Soviet John Wayne. And I don't understand it. What would that look like? By the way, what is this resting on? That is that is a unique background. This is I was going to mention that too. I was like, what is, it looks like gold confetti or something. Yeah, like it's, a, like, it's like, it's like spools of something. Yeah. It's like. Oh, that's it's weird. Or it's like one of those like coil, you know those like uh, woven. Have you ever cleaned dishes with like a woven yeah. like, uh, copper? Or, it looks like one of those pulled apart. Yeah, or just a lot or of like or, pubes. Or, <laughs> 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 like, like I don't, I don't know, man. It's just like what is. I'm glad he brought that up because yeah, I was going to mention I was like, that what too. What is this what lying on? is that? This is just like a brass shavings from a lathe or something like that. Yeah, it's on. probably what it, it is. Probably is. Probably that is. made the most sense. Out oh, of our sweet stuff. baby Christ. Trolling is an art and you're doing it well. You is know somebody knew what they were doing because of the troll sticker. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is superb. This would look amazing Super. on like Gucci Han Solo. Turquoise blue <laughs> blaster. The Germans did an engineer perfection back in the 1890s just for you to do this in 2020. Please stop. All right, so it looks like we got some FAMAS stuff, except it's not because. Looks like something from Halo or something, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, it looks like a it's battle so rifle, but yeah. yeah. That would be too, that would make too much sense. It's the this most is some normal. Sort of retro FAMAS conversion Air 15. Why? Why did you do that? Not only why did you do that, why did you spend... That's a lot of effort. This looks like somebody went through a lot of effort to make this this physically repulsive. <laughs> of all the things people <laughs> like about the FAMAS, I don't think anybody said, hey, that big-ass charging handle up top, let's, let's make that bigger. You are going <laughs> to bring down the wrath of gun Jesus on all of us. And frankly, we deserve it. Okay, so now we've gotten to this one. This is a Sten Bullpup. Where do you hold it? What? Soapbox moment. Unfortunately, I have become the very thing I have sought to destroy. Ever since I started doing these cursed gun images videos, uh, people have started photoshopping things that? and posting them all over the internet of just random bull pupped crap yeah, or fusions of different guns altogether. It's cancer. Please stop and don't don't tag me in it. Don't. I I hate looking at it. Some of them are okay, and that hurts to say. But that what does bull pop mean? Bull pop is um, when the um the mechanism is put like and where the shoulder guard would be yeah so and you know your trigger is out here and the bulk right. of the gun instead of being in front of the trigger or like connected right to the trigger is set back gotcha. so it usually is like for shorter it creates a more like compact weapon because okay. instead of having okay. like shoulder uh trigger uh barrel like the mechanical stuff all yeah. in front of the shoulder um right guard it's like all built into it i'm sure you all in the comments will be able to say that way better than i can <laughs> i mainly know that from video games so i am i only know that from video games okay. um but yeah i know that it like is usually used for um trading like a smaller gun because gotcha. the yeah the like mechanical stuff that has to happen is all set back like in the shoulder Ah, okay. Okay. Guard of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I I think I'm under, I'm mostly understanding. Yeah. yeah. Then there's shit like this. This is where you know someone is either trolling the shit. Like, yeah. Cause yeah, where's, where's the, looks like where's the handle stuck together? It, yeah. It's, well, there's, yeah, there's no, there's handle. no it's just handle. like a trigger, but there's, it's so weird. It looks so <laughs> weird. Out of people like me, I wonder if it is Photoshop. I have no idea how firearms work. 
it I does, think it is. It does kind of look like it, doesn't it? Yeah, where like, the where the, the the stock meets right the, behind the trigger, yeah. like where yeah, the, yeah. I think it is photoshopped. Yeah, I would. Yeah, the all white background is and also also slightly like, yeah. suggestive that it yeah. may or may not be photoshopped. Yeah, it's a magic fucking box that looks vaguely weapon shaped that you pull the trigger and bad shit happens to the dude you're pointing it at. That's their understanding of firearm mechanics. So the Sten is an open bolt blowback nine millimeter submachine gun. It is basically an angry tube with a bolt that moves back and forth, igniting the little nine millimeter pews. See that little welded cap there above where you put the trigger? That's where the, that's where the bolt stops. That is, that is. Yeah. Maybe it so is. So there's no way that it can, <laughs> there's no way that can work because right. it's totally, because where the where it's saying the bullets go in is uh, behind the mechanism that would fire in that would fire right yeah right right <laughs> so it just literally it's just definitely photoshopped it is so it is hundred <laughs> percent photoshopped the bottoming out point of your bolt so it is alarming to me someone with a vague understanding of the sten why there's a magazine behind that point this is alarming <laughs> because the bolt cannot now reach your bullets as you have essentially put a sten mag holder. <laughs> Beside your single shot Sten, one out of ten, <laughs> this gun would not work. Stop photoshopping these things if you don't know. If you, if you don't, just stop. Don't don't do it. Oh goody, more Sten stuff. This this is this is the other one, <laughs> and then I'll be done. Then we'll just be looking at cursed gun images. But I gotta say this: putting weeb shit on a gun does not make it a cursed gun image. It just means you should probably have a better relationship with your parents. I don't know if you had a father, and if so, I don't know if he's extant, but I hope he didn't see what you did, because I'm confident he would be embarrassed by you. Okay, I genuinely don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Let's try to break this one down, because I hesitate not to call this curse. What a, what a great little, <laughs> little addition right there. Um, yeah, I wonder what that's from. Maybe it's Brandon's dad. That, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what that clip is from. <laughs> But no, you, know, was, you live your life. You do what you need to do. Yeah. You, you put weeb stuff on guns. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and disappoint Brandon. <laughs> yeah, I know that you will disappoint Brandon, but if that's what you want to do with your life, do it. That's what you do. Go do it. And it's neat. But it also might be cursed. So let's see. That is clearly some sort of Glock. I am assuming maybe like a 19 by the size with a suppressor on it, but. That's not what's weird. What's weird is this stock attached to it. I Why don't know what kind of trigger stock this is. behind kind of fabricated, the gun. Definitely. Yep. That's I think, interesting. Hence why it is cursed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No way. That would be. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> if this actually works, that might be some sort of trigger linkage to the Glock. This clearly makes it an ah. SBR short barreled rifle. So I hope this guy has papers, either that. It does kind of look like something out of like a Fallout game or something, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks, yeah, it looks like <laughs> you would string this together in the apocalypse. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or uh, you can say goodbye to Fido, a Woodstock with a cheek riser with a knob on it, an adjustable cheek riser. Man, this is just a Frankenstein, Frankenstein's carbine. And of course, the optic that is not attached to the slide, uh, but instead to the Woodstock. That's excellent choice. Luckily, judging by those magazines to the left, I think this is airsoft. So false alarm. We're all good. This isn't cursed. This is just a 16 year old. Oh, oh right. it's an airsoft. Okay, I almost respect it. I really do. So this is some sort of bolt action rifle, it seems. With what? an AK under, I, I, I'm just trying to. What is that? What is this? This literally looks like a homemade gun. It looks like a cock gun. <laughs> My God, it does. Doesn't it? It, it looks does. more like it dispenses cock than it does bullets. Yep. Yeah. Like this literally it's looks bolt? like. What is this? Yeah. This is, this is, yeah, this is definitely cursed. The weird thing is though, I bet you it works. I bet you out yeah. of everything that we've seen, this is the one that works. Yeah, but it <laughs> Break down every <laughs> it it shouldn't. Shouldn't. thing that's on this gun. This is, it looks like it's a bolt action barreled action with an AR handguard hose clamp onto it. Don't <laughs> knock the tactical hose clamp. If it's good enough for an AK-50 prototype gas tube, it's good enough for me. No, he's got not one, but two tactical hose clamps here as he has one also attaching his flashlight to the mm -hmm. end of... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I gotta love this because you went through all the trouble of putting an AR-15 handguard on it. 
uh, like a rail system on it so you can attach accessories and you don't fucking you don't use, it. You use, use the hand you use the hose clip. <laughs> that's wonderful that's wonderful but you did use it for one thing and that was an ar m16 style carry handle that you use for the rear sight the rear sight's attached but you have no front sight except for the one attached to the barrel, which is a good, I don't know, two inches below. So either you're using this for indirect fire or you're just trolling me, <laughs> which you're doing well. But I honestly can't be butt hurt. I enjoy this. I, this is, God, this quarantine's got me fucked in the head because I'm enjoying cursed gun images right now. But to finish everything off on the back end, we have an AK underfolding stock. That's a piece of art. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> oh goody, speaking of underfolders, we have <laughs> no oh. other thing that should not be. This is an SBR. Is the do you see the shoulder? Yeah. It folds it, underneath, underneath the mag. Though. Oh, that wouldn't unfold. You'd have to take the well, I mean you'd have to take the clip out, which right. I guess it's fine. Weird. <laughs> okay. The color's kind of cool, though I will say. Like that turquoise yeah. with that slate gray it looks it's a cool color. I hope somebody's got their paperwork for this uh, because this is an AR pistol with an AK underfolder attached to the buffer tube. Because you know, when I think AK underfolder, I just think, you know, that's so ergonomic. I want it on all my other rifles. A lot of, a lot of actual work went into this and I'm not sure if I should commend it or not. Normally I kind of, I don't like it when people put AR shit on AKs, but now I'm, I'm starting to think the opposite is worse. It's actually worse when you put <laughs> AK shit on AR. It just looks uh, so much more jank. It gone on an AK mm -hmm. and it would have looked all right. Wow, okay, that's a lot to unwrap. Oh, what holy shit, actually that's the gun thing? from, from uh, Deadpool 2, the one that uh, Cable used. Oh, is that? That With actually- all the stuff attached to it, that's uh, insane. It looks like something Hellboy. Yeah, you know just what I'm like talking giant about? and ridiculous. Yeah. Yep, like like Ron Perlman's walking around with this, carrying this in a single yeah. hand. You know, like this damn. is insane. This that's looks, not cursed. That's but I kind of uh, yeah, it's so yeah. ridiculous and unrealistic that it's fantastic. I actually I remember sitting in the theater wondering what the hell he was using. So let me try to break this one down because uh, I think this one this one's up to the prop department. So I guess kudos. I think so it is, this an is like a modern purpose. Thompson's because they, they, they started the core of the gun is like a vector, uh, I guess a vector 45 with a Thompson stock on it. But the thing that was freaking me out that I, I couldn't quite figure out, I couldn't pinpoint it in the theater was they had a, an, an M82 Barrett break on the front. Yeah, which that's is a little overkill sick. for 45, especially a 45 rifle configuration. But hey, I, I'm not from the future. I don't know these things. Looks like they have a smaller front end of an AR-15 underneath that barrel. And just to top things off, because you know there's no such thing as overkill in an R-rated Marvel movie, they have an M203 grenade launcher for 40 millimeter. 10 out of 10 would boog with this rifle. <laughs> we need to have a serious sit down talk with Florida. The idea that the standard AR-15 pistol grip was not comfortable enough for you. You were instead much more comfortable holding a deer hoof. AR guys meets Florida man, and this is what you No. No. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? That? What the actual? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and I was someone who... And I think I've said this before when we watch Brandon Herrera. Like, I'm not particularly a gun guy. And for those of you who don't know, I'm also a vegan. So <laughs> this is like <laughs> so wrong for me on so many levels. You know what it is? I mean, Brandon nailed it. This is so Florida. This, That's this, what this is, dude. This is so very Florida. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm from Michigan. And there's a big deer hunting community in Michigan, <clears throat> and I can could be a Michigan of people. Thing. Yeah, like the Midwest is a big deer hunting mm -hmm. community. I can see <clears throat> something like this. Is, oh. <laughs> it break. This is breaking my brain. <laughs> it makes me so uncomfortable. So, I'm like, oh, <laughs> you get oh. the little bit of Alabama sprinkled in. Honestly, this was probably seized from Joe Exotic's home. Okay, believe it or Honestly, not, this is not actually a cursed gun no image. This way. looks like something that would have been Photoshopped, but it is not. This was actually a real thing that the US Army developed. Uh, I think it's the, the Davy Crockett recoilless rifle or something like that. And this is basically a small artillery piece that fires nuclear warheads. I am not making this up. I don't know if this was ever used or 
anything. Well, no, God, no, it was never used. Tested, I mean, like actual field test with people and things. I, God, I hope not. It was that weird point right after the end of World War II where we had just used nuclear weapons for the first time in human history. And all of the scientists were warning of the implications this could have on the future of mankind. And the entire world was afraid of going into a nuclear holocaust. Meanwhile, the military industrial complex was just kind of like, hey, could you uh, build us something to shoot that from a Jeep? That's US weapons development for you right there. It's a terrible idea, it never should have been done, but goddamn, we sent it anyway. Okay, I was actually wondering when this one would show up. I don't necessarily hate this one. It's been floating around the internet for a while. This is an underfolder AK pistol. It what? is. It's the size of like a handgun. Yeah, it's an AK. Well, he just yeah, he's yeah, an, an AK, AK pistol. pistol. It uh, I like the little tiny piece of wood there too. You know what I'm saying? Just a little the barrel, bit. The just little a little bit. little bit. And the handle, just a little mm -hmm. bit of wood to make it so you know it's an AK. Yeah. Oh man. Pistol chambered in probably nine millimeter, maybe seven sixty by twenty five, but I'm guessing nine by the magazine being straight judging by that third pin i'm guessing it's a machine gun and damn i sure hope so no this was never a production gun this looks like it comes straight from kyber pass pakistan where dreams come true and ak's go to die the really sad part about this is that if zooming in here it looks like this was actually like a type 3 milled ak because it's got that little dimple there and that's actually uh, okay so i'm gonna get, I'll get on my soapbox one more time some of the, one of the weird things they do over there in kyber pass is they actually mock the look of a stamped ak by milling a little stamped dimple in the magwell to make it look stamped but it's actually a milled gun you can see there on the front trunnion that's obviously a milled gun there's no rivets in it or anything like that i've even seen fake rivets like they do some weird shit over there i don't understand their taste but yes definitely a little AK pistol, probably a machine gun, you know, Pakistan, why not? Is it cursed? Yeah, probably, but I don't know. I'd still rock it. So this appears to be a pistol and side folding version of the Barrett M82A1. I'm gonna go back to my previous cursed gun images. Uh, yeah, Reverend. Look at the size of the magazine, dude. how long. Yeah, that that's insane. Yeah. It's with where to bolt go, though. So the problem with this here is that, uh, <laughs> That has a very big bolt and carrier because that is a very big firearm. Now, in order for a semi-auto weapon like this to function, it has to have equal, if not more, space behind the bolt and carrier assembly to reciprocate and load, yeah. you know, eject the round, yeah. load the next round, that whole nine yards, uh, to actually function or have a prayer in hell of functioning. Notice where the bolt and carrier assembly ends on that pistol. Now, know that it has to go at least that distance further back beyond where that ends. That's if you're just... shooting that like a pistol, that appears to be dangerously close to the shooter's face and or shoulder. In reality, it's actually probably behind that, meaning that this thing is a hull puncher. No country for old men style to your jawbone. Still seven out of 10 might operate. Actually, while I'm on this page, Kalash Lover, um, God, I feel mixed about shouting this out right now. Kalash Lover runs a very interesting page where uh, he's basically become known for a lot of these cursed gun images, uh, such as these, like challenges. Basically, people shout out in the comments, and he does a very, very. It's not the worst Photoshop I've ever seen, but it's it's crude. It's it's uh, it's hurtful. So I guess go check him out if you if you like this sort of thing. I'll judge you though. Here's one of them, <laughs> Stendo Martini Henry. Oh, what oh is that? God. What is that? Seems simple enough. What? Bullpup five that? five six Chris Vector. That wouldn't work, but okay. Type one AK forty seven. Sawed off shotgun. Sawed off shotgun. I'll find you as soon as I get out of here. PSL plus M240 Bravo plus broadsword bayonet. Oh, I'm not even mad. <laughs> broadsword bayonet is. At least you got the general size. <laughs> That's not even mad. How could you just be ridiculous? I mean, all of these are just edited and right, right. ridiculous. Right. You know what's interesting is, um, so I've been playing with like this AI image generator, and I wonder mm -hmm. if you could use it to make a bunch of these cursed gun images. Gun images. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it would work necessarily, though. Mm -hmm. It'd be interesting to try. Also, we might, might have like safety things. Oh, they might not yeah, want yeah, you to yeah. put it and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. It might not work. That but, would make sense in today's. Uh, yeah. Today's you know what? I appreciate age. them being safe in whatever way they feel they need to be. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Weird. Of okay. the cartridge and the magazine. Right, you know, you're throwing other guns that are almost close. Sorry, I got well, distracted by that it's, type it's one AK. With the the that's, perfect. No. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. add that on anything. Yeah, it's like I'm... taking 
a Fabergé egg and ripping it apart for the jewels to put on your bedazzled jeans. So I think this is like, I don't know, this is maybe like an M44 Mosin because of that side folding bayonet in some sort of chassis with a thumb hole stock and like sheet metal sides. Like this is like a sheet metal block that's either screwed or riveted together. This was a lot of work. You put a lot of time into making this look as terrible as it does <laughs> on the bipod. The bipod that you clamp to the barrel, directly to the barrel, even though you put that Picatinny on the bottom. It's like you went through the effort to put the Picatinny there, right there, and then you just clamp the, ba the, the bipod straight to the barrel. Why not, you know? I refuse to believe that people put that much effort into trolling. That had to be somebody that was serious. Serious, uh, seriously rarded. These are getting worse. I was actually starting to have fun there for a minute. You guys made sure that that was just not in the cards for me. I had to keep you going. Cursed somewhere. item. Obrez reverse bullpup to Vor. Yeah, that's pretty cursed. I think I'm going Ugh. to amend my bullpup policy. So at first it was, I hate bullpups. And then I had to clarify, I hate all non purpose built bullpups. You know, things that started as normal weapons and then you bullpupped it because I guess you're fucking bored. I'm going to amend that a third time. I also hate non bullpup things that started as bullpups because this is, <laughs> this looks pretty heinous. <laughs> Either that or it looks like a, a Star Wars prop gun. It for those does. Of you who don't know, the Obrez is kind yeah, of a so slang true. term thrown around for a shortened pistol version of a Mosin Nagant rifle. It has since been adopted and kind of used as a slang term for a hacked up Bubba shit pistol of any kind. Yep, I've seen that one around. Um, Nunchuck. <laughs> oh my. Oh my God. Obrez Nunchucks. <laughs> Ridiculous. Why do I bother? It's your favorite Ninja Turtle. Just fucking NDing into everything. G11. Obrez. <laughs> I don't necessarily feel comfortable that does, saying that that, that doesn't also work, looks like a Star, Star Wars, Wars, Wars prop. Like a yeah. weird laser rifle. Yeah. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah. What does that even do? Why is there so much chunkiness to that gun? It's, a, it's not. I mean, an oh, it's. Look. Also, it does. Look edited very right. much so because there's all those like gray blocks mm -hmm. around it, mm -hmm. huh? I don't know how the G11 quite works, but I feel pretty comfortable in my assessment <laughs> that somebody who does know how it works would agree with me that that doesn't work or at least doesn't make any sense. He is he is going to town going to on that <sighs> that whiskey man. Yo. He's going to town. Also, this next gun. <laughs> Look at this thing. This thing is looks like it can clean toilets. Yeah, this thing is gross. I like how people put like that, that Barrett mm. attachment on the end. It's That's it's the barrel. It's for the for the Deadpool gun. It was kind of cool. I'm not yeah, for lie. the Deadpool gun, it was cool. Yeah. But in this, it doesn't work. Yeah. No Brez again. You guys like Obrezes for some reason. That is an Obrez with a ridiculous muzzle brake on it because you know, you're know you gonna take all that weight off the front end of your gun, lose the muzzle velocity, but add the weight back. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I sure as fuck didn't. If you have any recommendations for future content, please let me know and I'll read through the comments whenever I get a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yup, Brandon went to town. Oh then. yeah, <laughs> I think he's hamming it up. But. So that I'll, I'll know what to do for the next video. Look at I his hope eyes get me the fuck out of here. Because I'm starting to lose my mind. Uh, I have a stack of AK guy shirts over there in the corner that I've just been wearing. Um, so every day is kind of blending in. I don't know what time it is. And please, for the love of God, please stop sending me Chris Gun images because I don't, I don't like to see them. I don't, I just, I don't want, I don't want them. You know what? Fuck your cursor images. I don't need them. I'll fucking. You want a fucked up Obrez? I'll show you a fuck up Obrez. Where's my Mosin? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the hacksaw? <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Where's the whiskey? Combining. <laughs> oh, whiskey's that way. Let's do this. Oh no. Oh. Brandon would not approve of this. No, no. Is he actually going to do this? Groovy. Oh man. Oh man. Oh wait, there is still a little bit of this video, so. Yeah. Oh, some credits, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, damn. I, uh, 
Those were that some was, cursed gun images. Yeah. I actually, I, I did enjoy that. There was some fun stuff, like looking at some weird guns and stuff like that. And, and yeah. you know, I mean, I will say, Brandon Herrera, like, he knows his history. So mm-hmm. it's it's fun to see. And he knows his guns. So it's interesting to, like, hear him talk about yeah. stuff that I know nothing about. Right. Um, I, yeah. I also I also really love the... Um, uh, so he, supposedly there's a, even one where he takes a look at the guns in um, the most recent Call of Duty game, mm-hmm. too. So I think something like that, too, where combining like gaming and Brandon Rare would be cool. If you'd like to see us do that one, yeah, too, definitely let us know. Because, yeah, these are just a lot of fun. Brandon, he's such a cool dude to like. It feels almost like we're hanging out with him at the same time as he's going through this stuff. So it's, it's, it's cool. I do really enjoy these. Um, yeah. And yeah, videos that really Michael and I in our own time wouldn't really be watching necessarily. So the fact that like we get to enjoy this this content that's different for us with you guys is cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I didn't know he did some Call of Duty stuff. That'd be cool to yeah, check out. What, so, what? Um, hey, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything else. Leave a comment in that comment section down below and we will see you next time on Chicago Rant.